All right. Thank you, everybody, for joining us today. Today, we're going to talk about why Interworks is a great alternative control panel for resellers. We thank you, everybody, for watching this today. Um, we're excited. I think we have a good topic for you folks out there listening. And today, we're going to talk about Interworks, you know, what it is, how it works, and how it can be a great control panel option for resellers looking at moving off of cPanel. My name is Myra, and I am on the Liquid Web team. And with me today, I have Ryan Balau. Did I say that right, Ryan? Yep, sounds good. <laughs> so Ryan Bellal, he's actually on uh, Nexus uh, side of our team, and um, I'll kind of just hand it over to you, Ryan, for now, just to do a quick intro. Sure. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Ryan Bellal. I'm a, a member of the Nexus team. Uh, I've been in the industry for about a decade in some way, shape, or form. Um, and I've been with Nexus for over six years at this point. I've held multiple roles in the Nexus organization, but currently I am our head of product. So uh, we've been using Interworks for the entirety of my time at Nexus. Um, so we have a ton of experience with it. And uh, yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you for being here, Ryan, with me today. Um, and just a quick note for, for those of you listening today and you're not aware, Liquid, did, Liquid Web did acquire Nexus earlier this year. And uh, we thought Ryan would, would be a good uh, speaker with me today just to kind of go uh, through Interworks since Nexus does have a lot of experience with Interworks. And since it is their control panel of choice, we thought he'd make a good fit uh, to talk about Interworks today. So. Just kind of recapping here, um, you know, as we all know, cPanel made a huge announcement earlier this year. It shook the entire industry because so many customers and even our employees used uh, and relied on cPanel. So when they decided and announced to make the, the new price change, um, their new license structure went from a per server to per account license cost, which means some of our customers, especially our reseller community, um, they could easily see their bill double, if not triple or more in license fees. Um, so we've heard a lot of resellers, you know, they voiced their concerns that have, and have come up to us and asked us, you know, what would be a good option? You know, if I didn't want to stay with cPanel, what, what other option do I have? Um, and that's essentially what we are here to talk about in works and how that could be a good um, solution for our resellers. But um, just quickly noting too that cPanel is set to make the changes or was set to make the changes starting September 1st. All of our Liquid Web customers, as you all know, um, you know, we're not implementing any price changes until January 1st. So if customers decide to stay on cPanel, you're more than you know welcome to stay on cPanel, and you won't see anything reflected until the first. But um, you know, there's still a little bit of time for our resellers to think about and go over options and um, for customers that are wishing to explore a different option, we are recommending Interworks um, since we feel like it has a lot of the same features, if not more than cPanel and it seems to be pretty easy to use. Um, you know, that, that is a, the platform that we are recommending since pricing won't be as much and you can still, you know, kind of be able to control the bill. So, uh, Ryan, after all that, <laughs> talk to me about Interworks. You know, tell me, you know, what are some features, you know, we should highlight? Um, what are the most important features um, and why you think, you know, they could be a good fit for our reseller customers? Yeah, sure thing. So, uh, Interworks is a pretty mature software. It's been around since, I believe, 2001 was maybe like the first, you know, initial iteration, uh, which then ended up developing into the full featured software suite it is today. Um, as far as uh, Interworks itself, it's primarily composed of two different pieces um, as far as the, the panels go. So you have Nodeworks, which is going to be the admin side of things. Um, that's where you're going to you know, handle system services, um, provision accounts, um, which I'll get to in a second, uh, for users that would be on your system. Um, view graphs, you know, view system information, um, how's load, how's memory usage, how's disk space usage, things like that. Um, mm -hmm. And then additionally, um, you know, manage things like the DNS servers that are used for the environment itself. So, uh, which then integrates with the DNS zone features uh, down the line. Uh, but yeah, so uh, 
as far as major features go, um, you know, to even start before that, uh, Innerworks is a full-fledged control panel. Uh, it's got, you know, all the main features that the industries, you know, come to expect from actual control panels themselves. Um, so, just, you know, basic control panel functionality is all there. Um, mm -hmm. But then there's some cooler features, uh, such as uh, there's full support for NFS. So if you need to handle some sort of network file sharing for the environment, um, you can just plug in the information and go from there, and it'll set all that up for you. Um, and additionally, there's things like clustering, uh, which Innerworks supports. So you can set up your own cluster, um, all controlled by Innerworks itself, and load balancing is handled by it as well. So it just takes a lot of the headache out of the situation for you know situations like that, where otherwise you know you might you or someone else in your team might need to maintain and create the entire mm -hmm. you know, architecture for that cluster environment or you know handling NFS mounts, things like that. So. Um, Additionally, uh, it does support uh, WHMCS, so take some headaches out of you know making sure that everything's integrated in that regard. Um, but yeah, awesome. Yeah, that was actually one one of the things that I see online is as the concern over if it's compatible with WHCMS. Uh, so that's good to know that it does. Um, so it seems like it has some you know, pretty similar features to cPanel, um, which would be good for, you know, our reseller customers. So one of the concerns or questions that we see a lot is that Interworks is uh, complicated to migrate to from cPanel. Uh, can you talk a little bit about this? You know, is it really a, a complicated process migrating over from cPanel to Interworks? Yeah, no, it shouldn't be. Um, there's uh, some native functionality built into Interworks to handle um, imports from all of the other, you know, popular control panels that are out there on the market. So, you know, specifically for cPanel, uh, you just be able to import that into Interworks and there's full functionality to do so within the control panel itself. So um, that should help a lot on carrying, you know, majority of the weight on the actual import process. Um, and just makes it you know pretty simple and easy. And additionally too, if you don't want to even use that method, and if you wanted to go maybe your own sort of homebrew route, um, Interworks doesn't really limit you as far as locking down areas of the system. So you should be able to you know use the tried and true method of something like SSH or FTP if you really wanted to, if you preferred rather to do that in a more manual process. So and then create the account yourself. Mm -hmm. So a couple different different options there for for customers. Um, and one thing, just quickly note to Liquid Web for any customers you know interested in migrating over to Interworks, um, our migration team um, can definitely certainly help with any questions anyone may have and and help you know with that migration as well. So I just wanted to call that out. Uh, so one other thing that I'm hearing too is that people think that you know you know people have been so used to working with cPanel for years, right? Um, it's you know just no question, that's always been the leader in control panel. So one of the, the things that I've seen is that, you know, people think that it may be hard to get used to navigating through a new control panel because they're, you know, just so used to, to their existing control panel. You know, why do you think, or why, what would you say, you know, why Interworks would be, you know, an easy control panel to get, you know, used to quickly? Are there any you know, hurdles that you see or, you know, why do you think it would make a good uh, control panel? Yeah, um, I mean, at least in my experience for all the different control panels I've worked with, uh, you know, throughout my career, whether it be at Nexus or anywhere else in the industry, um, I feel most comfortable using Interworks over other control panels. It's just, it's really straightforward, it's simple. Um, things are organized in a pretty logical um, way. So it's just, it's really simple to be able to even figure it out with even just a few hours of playing around with it. Um, you know, it's it's uh, my preferred um, kind of UI for all the control panels I've used. It's just, it just works and it's very straightforward, so. Awesome, okay. And then, um, w along with that, I guess, you know, people are afraid of new things. Um, you know, some people have concerns that and it works isn't really being innovated, which, you know, just me looking, you know, on their site, I've been seeing a couple of things, but I don't know if there was anything that you can share since you have been working, you know, on Nexus with Interworks for such a long time. Can you share about, you know, their innovation? 
Yeah, so um, I would definitely, I guess, come out of the gate and say that's completely false, uh, at least in the concerns, if those are what are being brought up. Um, to start, as well, alongside that, um, the team that runs the Innerworks application itself um, are probably some of the smarter folks I've had the pleasure of interacting with. Um, all very bright. Uh, they are always kind of sitting on the edge of what else can we do with this, you know, this software, um, and they continue to do so. So, um, as far as uh, the software itself, uh, it's constantly being updated. You know, um, it's, I believe, probably a few releases for it come up per month. I could be wrong on maybe a few months, but generally they release very frequently um, new versions of the software and are constantly trying to make it better uh, for any users that might be using it. So yeah, it's it's great. Yeah, they always are keeping that up to date um, and it's pretty easy and seamless to make sure that it's staying up to date as well, so. Awesome. Yeah, one of our customers, it's a big reseller, um, give him a shout out, Name Hero. He actually recently moved over a lot of his accounts over to Innerworks, and that was one of the things that he noted was that, you know, Innerworks is constantly being um, upgraded and enhanced and improved. Um, so, you know, that, you know, it's something beneficial for him, and that's one of the reasons he decided to switch over to to Enerworks as well. Um, cool. So I was wondering if we could go over just really quickly differences between Enerworks and cPanel. I have a little comparison chart here. Um, so I was wondering if you could highlight some, you know, of the main differences between cPanel and Enerworks. Yeah, sure thing. So um, just kind of going down the list in order here. Um, the uh, I think we just spoke on this, the hotfixes, uh, feature ads done in real time. Uh, yeah, that's a thing. So Interworks is whenever they have a release, you can just have those updated for the control panel itself. They just get pushed to that channel, um, which that's a side note too. There's also a beta channel. I believe it's the release candidate channel for Interworks, um, which you can use to get the you know most immediate new things uh, to your control panel. but you know, it depends, I guess, on your how you want to have that configured uh, if you want to use the stable candidate or the release candidate. But those come uh, quite often, um, and you can just have them updated. It's a pretty simple process. Um, multiple admin accounts. So on the NodeWorks side of things, you can set up multiple users in NodeWorks uh, in case you have a larger team. Um, maybe have multiple people's hands, you know, um, in the actual administration of the server. Um, you can set those up and they'll have, you know, whatever access you want to give them, they'll have access to as far as being an admin goes. Mm -hmm. um, multiple user accounts. Uh, that one's pretty big because the user accounts are the SiteWorks side of things, which is where if you were a reseller, you'd be setting up one of your users with a SiteWorks account to give them their own control panel within the environment itself. Um, so that is you know, a very useful thing to have there. Um, the load balancer and server clustering area. So on that, that's what I spoke on earlier. Uh, there's a full-fledged clustering solution that's built into Interworks. You just need to you know, kind of follow the steps there and get it set up, and it uh, works pretty flawlessly. Um, it's really great, really great, actually, overall. Um, and then, uh, obviously, as of recent news, uh, the <laughs> license per server portion of this is probably something that speaks to a lot of people that are looking for an alternative to the cPanel. Um, with Interworks, you know, full stop, you just, pay for the license for the server and however many accounts you want to add on it, that's on you. So mm -hmm. there's no additional pricing based on that, which I think is huge for a lot of people that, you know, might have a specific architecture that requires that kind of setup rather than wanting to have to pay for every account on there. Cause that can be, you know, obviously a lot of added cost for certain people. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And again, you know, some of our larger resellers, you know, that's definitely impacting, you know, their business and how they, you know, are profitable. So, you know, that's where this, you know, panic comes from, you know, staying with cPanel and, you know, finding alternatives. So we're glad to see that Enerworks um, is a per server uh, license, um, which can, you know, obviously save a lot of people some money. So definitely, uh, yeah, for sure. So just kind of, so it seems like Interworks seems like it is pretty comparable um, with cPanel and it seems like it has some additional features as well. Uh, it sounds like it allows for flexibility for customers and their interface seems like it's pretty simple and easy to use um, even for, you know, I know we didn't go into the full demo here, but it seems like it, 
is, um, you know, pretty easy to use for folks that may not be, you know, technical ex experts on this. And um, we do have a demo that uh, we'll share as well, a link to the demo. Um, uh, so you can kind of see how, how that works. But, um, you know, I like that their interface is pretty straightforward and it's clean. Um, so I, you know, definitely seems like it would be a good alternative, you know, for a couple of our reseller customers or for anybody else, you know, looking for an alternative control panel. Um, I did drop a link here if customers or if anyone's listening is interested in learning more about Anaworks, just follow the link there. But uh, Ryan, you know, has provided his uh, personal or his email address. If anybody does have any questions, feel free to reach out to him or you can reach him out on Twitter as well. So um, we thank everybody for, for viewing this. And again, don't hesitate to reach out to us if you do have any questions. And Ryan, thank you so much for joining us today. We really appreciate your time. Absolutely. Thanks for having me.